Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to a new video. In today's video is What If Naruto Had Wood Style, Part 4. I hope you all enjoy this video, and so let's just get straight into it. So, we left off the last video with Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi all going to the bridge and meeting Haku and Zabuza. Zabuza commanded that Haku deal with Naruto and Sasuke. And so, their fight began. Haku rocketed towards Sasuke and Naruto. Naruto and Sasuke though, however, learning what they did, managed to focus all their chakra in their legs, allowing them to gain a lot of speed. They both outsped Haku and began to punch him around. However, Haku then decided to use the needles. Several needles were embedded in Sasuke and Naruto. However, when Haku went for a finishing blow on Naruto just to knock him out, Naruto moved his head to the side, grabbed Haku's arm, and used it to slam him against the ground in a judo kind of style. Meanwhile, Kakashi and Zabuza had already started fighting, but Kakashi was more prepared, and Zabuza was not prepared for Kakashi's Sharingan as he didn't exactly know what he did last time. Kakashi used various techniques to copy Zabuza, and even threw in techniques of his own. Zabuza was fighting a losing battle, as it was clear to see that Kakashi was on the winning end. Zabuza seemed to be getting harmed a lot more, and Kakashi didn't have a scratch on him, only several bruises. Sasuke and Naruto were working as a team much better than they did in the original, and they pushed Haku all the way, having to use the ice mirrors. When these ice mirrors formed around Naruto and Sasuke, they were surprised, they didn't know what was going on. But not before long, both Naruto and Sasuke were being cut up by Senbon. Naruto and Sasuke tried various ways to get out of the ice prison. Sasuke tried to use his fireball jutsu to get out, and Naruto tried to use his shadow clones. But Naruto's shadow clones were just cut up immediately, and Sasuke was being cut up by the Senbon. Haku told them that it's impossible to win, and in here, it looks like they are moving in slow motion. Haku goes to kill Naruto and Sasuke, and in this moment, Sasuke awakens his Sharingan, managing to dodge out the way. Naruto, on the other hand, opted for a more destructive way to stop this. Naruto used wood style to destroy the mirrors, but it leaves Naruto breathing heavily. Struggling to his feet, he creates shadow clones and tells Sasuke that it's time to end this. Meanwhile, Kakashi, using his summoning jutsu, traps Zabuza and starts up the Chidori. Before Haku can even think about going over there to save Zabuza, Naruto binds him with wood style once more, and Sasuke uses a kunai to put an end to Haku's life. Kakashi, using the Chidori, charges at Zabuza and puts it straight through his chest, killing him instantly. Gato appears not long after and mocks Zabuza and Haku, telling them that they were overpriced and weren't as strong as they nearly claimed to be. Naruto creates more shadow clones, and with Sasuke's help, as well as Kakashi's, they manage to kill all the mercenaries, and then Naruto looked at Gato as he begged him not to kill him, offered him money, fame, but Naruto didn't care, and he simply dug a kunai straight into Gato's neck, killing him. The Wave Village had showed up and watched this display, and had thanked the ninja they thanked Team 7 for saving the village and allowing them to be able to finish the bridge. Inari was happy and even called Naruto a hero. This stopped him from being scared all the time and they ended up naming the bridge the Great Naruto Bridge. Heading back to the village, Kakashi said that he would have to give a report once he arrives and so Team 7 should just go do whatever they want when they get back. He says that they will have a little break, maybe about a week. And during this time, Naruto trains until he drops. He works on his chakra control massively whilst also sparring with his clones. He tries to increase his speed and strength. He had noticed that he wasn't strong enough right now. He wanted to be stronger. He wanted his attacks to be more devastating. Hiruzen, in this week though, called Naruto to his office and asked him about the wood style as Kakashi had told him about it. Naruto explained that when he stole the scroll of sealing, he ended up trying the wood style and it worked, basically. 
And here is it. Just couldn't help but sigh. He had no idea this was going to happen. He knew that the Uzumaki were branches of the Senju, but who would have known it would have got to this? Hiruzen tells him to keep it a secret, and only to use it in emergencies, and Naruto nods and agrees to do so. Hiruzen explains that it's a dangerous jutsu, and one that's very sought after, as only the first Hokage could use it. Naruto says he will do this, but in exchange he wants earth and water style jutsus, as wood style is currently the only jutsu he can use. Hiruzen agrees on this, thinking it was acceptable, and Naruto continues to train, physically and in his jutsu. Naruto works even more on his speed, using weights, gravity seals, anything he can get his hands on. He wanted to be faster than Haku, as he was annoyed at how much faster Haku was than him in his ice mirrors. He then learns earth style, mud wall, earth style, bottomless swamp, as well as the water bullet jutsu, and the rising water slice. When Team 7 meet up again, Kakashi is late as usual. But when he arrives, he talks about the cheating exams and says he has recommended them for it. However, it is up to them to want to do it. Sakura seems quite nervous, but Naruto and Sasuke were definitely up to it. As they left, after Kakashi told them this, they heard screams in an alleyway nearby, and so they ran to go check up on it. There, they saw Konohamaru, the third Hokage's grandson, with the Sand Ninja being held up by his top. Naruto and Sasuke see this guy and stop him. He had weird makeup on his face and Naruto pulled a kunai and said he better drop him. However, before needing to do anything, Gara appears and tells Kankuro that he is a disgrace. He asks Sasuke his name and also looks at Naruto, not quite as interested but still acknowledged him. Sasuke tells him that his name is Sasuke Uchiha but asks for Gara's name too. Gara says that he is Gara of the Sand, and leaves with just that. The Sand Ninja, Tamari, and Kankuro followed behind. The next day, they needed to hand in the forms for the tuning exams. Sakura had decided that she should do this, and so, when they went into the building to go hand in their forms, Sasuke and Sakura noticed that the two Genin blocking everyone from getting in was actually just a Genjutsu. They weren't even on the right floor. Sasuke had told them this and dispelled the Genjutsu. Naruto, on the other hand, didn't notice this and said he would study on it as this seemed like something important he needed to learn. Sasuke had then decided he was going to fight the ninja in front as they were provoking him, but entered Rock Lee, Neji, and Tenten. Rock Lee blocked Sasuke's kick with his arm, as well as the attack from the Chunin disguised as Genin. Rock Lee tells them to stop here, and that it was un ninja like to fight in this place. Rock Lee then looked at Sakura, and as in canon, said, he loves Sakura. Neji was interested by Sasuke as he heard he was the rookie of the year. Neji asked Sasuke what his name is, but Sasuke says he needs to say his name first. Neji introduces himself as Neji Hyuga, the previous Rookie of the Year. And Sasuke says his name is Sasuke Uchiha. There was not much interaction after that, as Neji scolded Lee for showing off some of his true power. Whilst their bickering was going on, Team 7 left and walked all the way to hand in their forms. Lee, however, stopped them as they were walking to hand in their forms, saying that he challenges Sasuke to a fight, as the truth is he was the strongest Genin. Sasuke looked at Lee and accepted his challenge, as he was quite surprised that Lee managed to block his kick. Sasuke and Lee stood face to face, getting ready to fight. But that is where I'm going to leave. What if Naruto had wood style part four? I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment on the video any what ifs you want to see. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.